Welcome back. This should be episode number three of our uh, Red Tent restoration. And this is this is where it sits right now, which is to say, uh, you know, it doesn't have any control panels on it. We did some restoration on uh, the buttons. Uh, we rebuilt a couple of joysticks. So this time. We're going to look at actually stripping down uh, the control panels, getting those uh, you know, stripped down uh, to bare metal uh, and prepped for paint. Uh, we also may have to uh, bang out a dent or two here and there, just where they've uh, yeah, been beaten up a little bit over the years. But first, before I, I, I really kind of get into that, I would mentioned that I was, I was going on a road trip. Well, I did do that. The road trip was successful. I actually uh, I went down and met uh, another uh, Clover, another uh, Killer List of Video Game Forums member, who who lives in New Mexico. We met uh, rough, roughly halfway in between uh, where I live and where he lives. In, in Trinidad, Colorado, which I found out actually when you when you tell people that you're you're, you're taking a trip to Trinidad, uh, apparently that that means something that means something different than picking up arcade parts. I guess I I, I blanked that South Park episode or other references to that, but uh, needless to say, I, I, I made it quite clear that I was picking up parts, not dropping parts off. Which is apparently a thing that one might do if they were taking a trip to Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so just to give you an idea of of, of what I what I've done to myself uh, in this little trip. Uh, yeah, we we picked up some games. So let me let me swing around and uh, show you show you what we did. All right, so. <laughs> here, here we are. I picked up three more red tents. That's three, three more. <laughs> uh, four in total now. There, uh, two of them are, are uh, pretty complete. Um, this third one here on the right is uh, more of a parts machine. It's, uh, it's got the shroud. It's got. Uh, some some harness inside that uh, might be useful, but the other two are uh, complete. I, I haven't fired them up. Uh, apparently, they they were tested as being working when they left the uh, the fellow's place. Um, but I I've not done that. I want I want to kind of tear into them and, and and you know double check a few things uh, before I I do that and actually uh, fire them up. But uh, I guess. What struck me as being <laughs> making some kind of sense out of this whole thing was that, well, hey, you know what? If, if, if you're going to do something once, why, why not just go ahead and, and, and do it again two, two more times? Anyway, so I, I, I'm going to focus mostly on, on just the, the one that, uh, I, that I'm working on here. But I am going to be working on all three of these. So the, the, the final goal being I have uh, three complete, fully functional, restored red tents. And uh, I, honestly, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to sell two of these things. There, I, I mean, I don't have room for, for three in here. And, and then the, the whatever's left over from the parts machine... That one will, uh, I mean, probably end up getting parted out, so uh, so other red tents can can find their way back into the world. Yeah, so that's that's what I did. Uh, I, I will not I will not uh, shoot video of me rebuilding um, eight more joysticks. Um, you know, 32 more buttons, all the rest of that stuff. So you're, you're really just going to focus on the one. 
But I, I will be showing probably progress since I will be doing them in parallel. We'll be showing progress of all three as I'm working. Um, I, I'm actually kind of excited. It's, a, it's an interesting challenge for sure to be doing three at once. So this is, this is what I'm doing. Uh, that's not actually what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to be talking about the control panels. So I got the, the, the second one, I've got, like I said, I've already got the first one over on, uh, overdone uh, on the, uh, the table over there behind me. But uh, we're going to be focusing today on, on getting this one stripped and kind of how, how, um, how I found a, a relatively easy and, and, and painless way to, to strip these things down. So let me go ahead and get the tripod over here and get the camera mounted so it's not quite as wiggly. And we'll go ahead and dive in. All right, so here is that panel that I pulled last time. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of flaking paint, some some uh, some very mild surface rust here. It should uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, just kind of going to start by uh, going through and um, knock a bunch of this off with a chisel. Then uh, we'll get into the the, the the stripping part. All right, so that that was just a quick kind of pass with the the, the chisel. That'll yeah, just get through some of the the extra super loose stuff that was hanging out on top. So. What I found uh, works works pretty darn well, actually. Was uh, you know, a few a year or two ago, I, I ended up actually stripping the woodwork in um, one of my bedrooms, my house. I was using you know the citrus uh, strip here, which is nice because it's a you know you don't get gassed out, and and really uh, for for stripping things for metals, I actually had great luck with this on. Um, my Tron control panel and uh, the, the coin door on that, the Donkey Kong coin door. Uh, and this stuff, you know, it's it's really pretty low effort. Um, you just kind of like stack it up, get it get it bunched up kind of into the corners and uh, let it do its thing. So there's really not much to watch here. Uh, so I'm just basically going to go ahead and layer this stuff on. And uh, then we'll, we'll probably cut back to the uh, what it looks like when it's done. All right, so it's been about 24 hours here. Uh, there might be, well, there's definitely faster ways to do this, but I, I can think of no other way to do it that involves less effort. Uh, so this has just been sitting with that, uh, with the citrus strip just sitting on it. Um, so now it's just a matter of kind of just coming through and uh, cleaning, cleaning it off a bit. Um, the paint itself, you know, for the most part, you can see it's it's already just kind of comes off in in sheets. Um, very little effort here. I'm basically just running the the um, little scraper here, just over the edges. Uh, there are some places where it uh, there's some extra adhesive, like there. You can I might be able to see that where it's like the the white adhesive here that you know won't come off you know quite as easily. But for the bulk of the work, the the majority of the work, it's it's kind of a rub it down, and it just comes right the heck off. The stuff, the citrus stuff, is just great, and you know, it's it's not a harsh chemical. You know, my garage, I'm working here, and it's you know, I could turn the ventilation fans on, make it even harder for for you to hear me. But but uh, you know, if I was working here with like some hardcore stripping chemicals, it get pretty stinky, and this stuff, while it's, it's not the, the greatest smell ever, it's, uh, it's not bad, it's just, you know, just citrusy. This whole section here, you can see it's just, paint just gums right off. I mean, the, again, the level of effort on this is just ridiculous. I did after, uh, after I finished shooting, uh, finished shooting, that last segment, I did. I did actually uh, come over here and dab just a bit more on some of the places where it had dried up a little bit. But aside from uh, aside from that, a little bit of work with a paintbrush seems like it's a pretty fair trade for, for how easy this is. And and the time it does, you know, like I said, I did give this about twenty four hours to to sit. <clears throat> And I'll, I'm probably not going to speak a low whole lot here uh, while I just kind of finish this up. But all right, again, for level of effort, 
pretty darn good. You know, that's just as a start to getting this thing clean. That's that's pretty awesome. I put my wedding ring away. My wife comes out here, finds me doing this with that on. I'm gonna get in trouble. Um, right, so I'm gonna uh, actually uh, go ahead and scrub this down with a little bit of water uh, as well. Uh, clean this uh, the surface up a little bit here, and uh, we'll we'll see what the last uh, couple steps of uh, of this looks like. All right, that's that's pretty darn clean. Uh, then uh, usually that's kind of a final uh, scrub. Just take like a you know Brillo pad sponge kind of thing to, to come in here and, and, and knock down some of the details. A little bit of elbow grease here at the end. You know, for some of this, <clears throat> some of this uh, adhesive that's going on down here, and for that, <clears throat> excuse me, for that matter, some of the uh, surface rust that I'm seeing show up here, I want to make sure that I can knock all that down. If I can't get it back down to bare metal throughout, then I'm really going to want to use some some paint or uh, sorry, not some paint, some uh, navel jelly or something to really reduce or uh, stop this rust from from spreading. You know, you don't you really don't want to paint over rust. It's uh, it technically doesn't, if from what I understand at least, it doesn't actually stop the rust. You just you're just making it harder to deal with. So, since I'm going to be uh, having these uh, painted for me, uh, I want to get them prepped and as clean as possible before I get that done. So let me just grab, I'm just going to grab some steel wool. So this is actually some pretty fine steel wool. I don't know how well it's going to deal with it, but we'll, we'll give it a try. Not sure if you could tell on the camera, but if you see all of this, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna look like. Basically, it looks like the that previous owner had tried or started to do some work on this thing. I don't know if he if he rattle canned this at some point, but. There's all these scratches in here, like he like he used a Dremel almost, or you know, some kind of rotary scrapey thing. It just looks like the size, almost the size of a Dremel, and it's just like back and forth and back and forth. I don't think any of that stuff's going to show up in after paint, and for that matter, actually, most of this is, is actually hidden underneath the shroud of the um, the the well the the tent part of the red tent. Anyway, just this sort of front area shows up. I, somebody scraped the ever-loving crap out of this thing. The other one didn't look like this, so... Uh, it may look like there's actually still more adhesive on here. Well, I guess there is a little bit more, but... I thought it seemed like there was a lot more when I was uh, first looking at it, but that's not. That's just scratched to hell metal. Uh, well, whatever. Um, like I said, it should it should... It should come out just fine. All that rust, should be able to tell that, all that rust pretty much just came right off. A couple little spots here and there that I'll get cleaned up and 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 a little bit nicer than what I've got going on now. And got a few of these little, uh, you know, little areas that I haven't, haven't hit a whole lot yet. All right. That's looking pretty darn good. And again, <clears throat> relatively minimal effort. Uh, you know, a little, what, 10 minutes of, of kind of scraping here at the end, and that's really about it. It's uh, it's pretty close to being being done here as far as uh, the, the top part of it being stripped. The bottom side, you know, there are places where the, uh, the paint stripper made it through the buttonholes, and I'll, I'll, I'll clean all this stuff up and, and wipe it down. I'm not as concerned with how super clean and smooth the paint is underneath here. You know, I, I get it smooth. I, I, I will definitely sand it down, clean all this excess up off of uh, the places where it is coming up because, you know, cause that's easy enough. 
But I'm not going to go uh, full on down to bare metal stripping this one super carefully. It is going to be painted, absolutely will be painted. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm just, I'm not as worried about the appearance of the bottom. It's still going to look great. I mean, it's still going to look way better than it did. It just, it isn't going to be as like sort of perfectly clean as, as the, as the top. I'm not as worried about that. It'll still look nice though, I promise. Did look like a lot of that gunk that I was finding underneath here. When I first pulled those off, uh, a lot of it actually did go away. I was worried that maybe it was some rust coming through the paint even, but it really isn't. I'm also going to pull these, the little uh, tie downs. Those are going to have to obviously come off when I paint, but uh, no big deal. So yeah, that's the, like I said, the bottom side. It, it'll look nice. It'll look uh, fully presentable, but I'm not going to be spending a, a, a crap load of time working on this. I'm just, I'll get, I'll get the big easy stuff off for sure. You know, a little bit of scraping like this, I don't, I don't mind doing, but I've got to draw the line somewhere. And as you, as you know, I have what, uh, two, four, at least six of these things to do with my new purchases. So, you know, got to, got to figure out where to draw the line, make it look nice. You know, don't, don't, Cut, cut, cut corners unless it, it you know makes a certain amount of sense. Maybe I'm making up my own rules as I go along, but I guess they're my rules, so I'm allowed to do that. Another uh, perfectly acceptable, well, actually uh, perfectly awesome way to do this is actually just uh, you know get it, get it media blasted, and that'll that'll take uh, care of all the paint for you, and maybe with a nice, perfect surface to work with. So yeah, so uh, generally, and actually this this panel is pretty straight. I've got a little bend here, which Hopefully you can see there. That'll need to be straightened out, but that's that's pretty minor. The other one actually had all kinds of kind of people smacking it with something or something or other, and it had kind of divots all throughout it. All of those, I hey, I just took a you know ball peen hammer and a mallet and and tapped those out to to get them to get them nice and clean and straight. But this one's this one's pretty good. All right, so that is that is stripping a panel. Gross. So yeah, like I said, that's that's gonna do it. Thanks for for watching this rel probably relatively short video of stripping these control panels using Citrus Strip and uh, Time. Times Times the big biggest tool to use here. That's uh, that's all I got. So cheers.